In this tutorial, we are going to create a uh, gallery using the flash gallery here. Um, so let's, we can begin with either a post or a page. Um, it's more frequent that people use posts, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go to add new. And, um, well, let's uh, give this a name. So, um, okay. And now we're going to go down to the flash gallery. I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay. I'm going to go to manage galleries. And we're going to create a new gallery. And we can just call it new gallery. And then we're going to go over here to the blue button, add gallery, and click on that. Okay, we're going to go down and see there's a test one and the gallery we just added, new gallery. Um, you can go ahead and click on that. And in this panel is where you would basically sort your gallery. You can add images from here, but I don't, don't suggest it. It's easier just to go to the bulk uploader here. Uh, I'm going to choose the new gallery we just put in. It's gallery number two, new gallery. And then we're going to select images from our computer by clicking on browse. And that should take us to our computer folders. And where you have your folders, I'm not sure, but okay, so just find your photos wherever you keep them. And I think I'll just get some stock photos here. Okay. And um, here we go. I'll just grab a few. And I'm going to do this by uh, pushing on the uh, shift key. Shift key uh, basically grabs from the first to the last. As soon as you click on shift, it just bunches them up all together. Uh, say open. And then basically, you're going to upload. Click on upload images, and they should be starting an upload process right now. There you go. Okay. It's now creating our thumbnails, and that's done. Alright, so now if you want to add um, text or um, alt tags, you're going to click on the title, and that's going to take you to the page, again, where we just went over. We can go in here and change the tags. This is these are all of course stock photos, so we have tags already on there for licensing. Um, and we're just gonna call this uh, a picture one. And uh, So now we have changed the names of our uh, photos and we're going to select save changes. Now we're going to go back to the post we had originally started here. Um, we can add some text if we like and then we'll style the fonts and select headings. Um, right now I just want to go over the actual insertion of the gallery. So um, again, hold on, let me go over that. There's the upload insert here, and there's the ga uh, grand gallery here. We're going to click on that, and that's going to take us right to the prompt where we will see all of our galleries. And here are our galleries. We have test number one in the gallery we just made, which is new gallery. And then you're just going to select it and click insert. And there it is. Um, if you like, you can center it. All right, let's publish that. And let's view the post. And there it is. And with the um, uh, Grand Flash Gallery, you can go into full screen. So there we go into full screen. And um, it's very nice. It's uh, simple to use, easy to upload. It's also easy to uh, get out of. Uh, basically, you would 
uh, go from full screen to slider and if you want to change your gallery or add uh, any more photos to your gallery you would basically just go back to the gallery setting manage galleries find the title of the gallery that you would like to update and you can either add images or you can sort your gallery. Suppose you have photos that you want in some kind of chronological order. Uh, basically you would just go to sort gallery and here it has the drop and drag function. Uh, you will see the ID number of each photo and this gives it the chronological order and uh, we can just drag them up and down here put the roses back here um, and that's that's it we just drop and drag them and that will change the order in which they're shown update sort order now we will go over to the flash gallery and refresh this and see the new order which we just placed it in and there we go again one of the best features of this gallery is that we can go full screen easily um, the information is easy to obtain by the little uh, button on the side um, and I guess that's the end of this tutorial mm. so there you have it flash gallery insertion and updatable uh, easy to insert into any page or post